A lot of people ask me, what lens do I need given the environment I'm gonna be in? And that's, it's a multi-layer question. There's really three major factors that go into deciding what lens is gonna work best for you. The first and most important is probably the base color of the lens. We have many options, but some of the most common are a gray or gray-green lens, bronze or rose. You can see here, gray paired with bronze paired with rose. What's important about the base tint is how it affects what you experience when you put the lens on. A lot of people think a, a rose tint is gonna be a lighter experience, and it usually does feel lighter, even if it's not letting in more light. On the opposite end of the spectrum of a rose is a gray or gray-green, which is gonna give a cooling effect. It won't be as vibrant, and yet it's still tr traditionally letting in the same amount of light as all the other lenses. And right in the middle is bronze or amber. And that's often a great choice because it does sit in the middle. It's got some great color contrast like the rose. It's not quite as cool as the gray, but doesn't feel as vibrant as the rose. So again, the first major decision you have to make is what base color lens do I want in my sunglass? The second most important decision you can make about your lens is whether it has a polarized filter or not. There's a lot of information about what polarization does for you out there, and you should check out some of our other videos if you want to learn more. But in a short, succinct way, what we can tell you is that a polarized filter is gonna eliminate glare. Most people love that. It's gonna increase cost a little bit, but it's gonna block out the glare. And SPY's polarization blocks out 99.9% .9 of our glare. So once you've chose your base tint and you've decided whether you want a polarization filter or not, the last decision is, do you want a mirror coating? And what is that mirror coating gonna do to the lens? Basically, a mirror coating is there Number one, frankly, for aesthetics. And number two, it does a little bit of tuning to that base color in the lens that you started with. So different mirrors tune the lens in different ways. A general rule of thumb that I like to advise people, and it can be often broken, but a mirror is great if it mirrors the environment you're around. So if you're gonna be out on a boat surrounded by a bunch of water and blue sky, a blue mirror is gonna be great for you. If you are, golfing or on a trail and surrounded by a bunch of green, a green mirror might be a great choice for you too. You could imagine looking down the fairway, trying to find a little white ball and a little yellow flag in a sea of green, and that green mirror is gonna kind of cool down the green colors and let those other colors pop. And frankly, you might not want a mirror at all. Some people like a very basic lens look, no mirror, that's fine. It's a very personal decision. So when you're making the choice for a lens, again, remember the three factors the base tint, whether or not you want polarization, and what color mirror might work for you, if you want a mirror at all. With SPY products, you know, all the base tints are gonna be happy technology, patented. Our polarization blocks 99.9% .9 of all glare. So, we've got one of the best lenses on the market. I hope you'll try one. If you have comments or questions, leave them below, or visit us at spyoptic.com, and like this video if it helped you out a little, and subscribe if you wanna see more like it. Thanks.